flight boss, bitch. You know, for sure. You're not listening to the mind of an Terry's moon. Yo, little Archangel Uriel, the flight boss here to carry out all God's duties and motherfucking responsibilities. But right now, we're going to talk about drugs. You know, we're going to talk about the, the spiritual, the physical, and the emotion, and, 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 and in the soul realm, the yin realm type of drugs. But first of all, look, <laughs> and don't, don't, don't mind my hair right now, you know what I'm saying? Just took out, took out the Medusas. Gonna go uh, get the Medusas done over real quick. They look like they're getting up some lift now. And I don't got to wear no wave hat 24-7. And, um... You know what I'm saying? I want to do some quick videos before I, before I go there and, and do do all that. You know what I'm saying? But for, for the most part, let's talk about um drugs. Now, you got your smoke substance drugs. Anything that you can smoke is going to tap you directly into the spirit realm. So these are things that's dealing with you, which you're consciously aware of. Anything that's dealing with any type of fluid, alcohol, lean, whatever, is going to tap you directly into the yin realm. Which is, uh, you know what I'm saying, which is dealing with your soul. Anytime you're taking a pill, edible, or whatever like that, it's going to tap you directly into the physical. Now, here's the three different ways these are going to affect you. Now, let's talk about the physical first. So, when you pop a, p a pill or any kind of sort, nine times out of ten, it's going to come in a, in a way, shape, or form of a muscle relaxer. Or, or something that kind of relaxes your body so much to the point that you become non-consciously aware of everything in front of you and you just get into your own zone. So a lot of times pills do shit like, uh, for, for, for men, uh, shit make your dick hard longer and shit like that. Uh, for females, make you wet, make you horny, you know what I'm saying? Makes you feel good, makes your body feel rejuvenated, makes it feel like everything is flowing in your body the way it's supposed to flow. And you get to sit back and, ah, you know what I'm saying? It's dealing with the physical. So anytime you take an edible, or whatever like that just know it's dealing with the physical and just know you're not going to be really tapping into any any vibrations or frequencies now when we talk about the alcohol this tapping straight into the yin realm your vibrations so anytime you drink or sip on some lean or codeine or alcohol or things of that nature you, it directly taps you into the yin realm the vibrational realm this is why when you see people who do drink they immediately they immediately get into their feelings they immediately start talking about their emotions. This is a lot, a lot of times when they say people who drink, um, they tell the truth. You see what I'm saying? And um, a lot of times uh, a person on a day-to-day -day basis be putting up a bunch of fraud and false illusions and lights and things that they live by. But when they drink, they put themselves in an abyss and all that disappears. You know what I'm saying? To the point that only thing there is what it actually is. And what it actually is is the truth. So if a person been presenting a certain type of law, presenting a certain type of way of living or this, that, and third. The moment they drink, you're going to start to see how they really feel about you and how they really feel about themselves. This is why a lot of times people who go through a lot of chaotic emotions who drink, a lot of times they feel like, um, they feel like they'd be super happy and super sad and all kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. I'll be getting tapped by all kind of forces. But look, let's talk about um, the smoke substance. Now, the smoke substance, now, with this being in play right here, this taps you directly into the frequency realm. This is why when people sit back and smoke, they get all kind of ideas, all kind of thoughts, all kind of, um, you know what I'm saying, being consciously aware of shit. So it's, it's important to know your frequency vibration when you're dealing with any three types of drugs. And when you smoke it, it's highly important to not be smoking anything that's not green. Even though you got a lot of weed, got a lot of spray shit on there nowadays, a lot of spray substances, but it's still in a leaf form. Something that got completely took out of leaf form and as far as like crack and boy and shit like that, these are things you're not supposed to touch at all. You see what I'm saying? Don't, don't touch that shit at all because these, these things are, are not even real. So they, they, they put you in a, the stronger, the stronger the drug that you smoke, the stronger you're going to see the, what you're consciously aware of. And if your frequency's vibrations is low, you're going to be consciously aware of a bunch of bullshit. So this is why when people smoke, and certain people who smoke who, who, are, who are not, who don't, who ain't consciously aware of nothing, and they just live in every day like regular people, a lot of times these people who smoke get nervous. These are people who get nervous. And people who, who, who don't, these are the first people who, who will tell you, man, I smoke, I get nervous. And, this, that, and third, and I don't like it because you, you see, it taps you directly into the spirit realm. So now you get to see everything that's around you. 
And if you're vibrating low and you don't have no sense of knowledge, then you don't know what you see. you just picking up all these frequencies. You're like, damn, what the fuck is this? Why I feel like this? Or why is it like this? And, oh, oh, man, I don't even like smoking. I ain't getting no more blunts, nothing. You know what I'm saying? And that's how it be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, for real, though. Then you have certain people who, who smoke who smoke weed and they chase their first high. See, this is people who even put their weed concept in their head and placed it into the physical realm. So now it's perceived as a pleasure. It's not perceived as a tool. You know what I'm saying? Like me. Me, I'm already high of life. So when y'all see me smoking, I smoke to come down. <laughs> because I'm already consciously aware of a bunch of shit. So when I smoke, what y'all call getting high, I call getting coming down. Like coming down a little bit. Because if I don't smoke, I'm really not going to give a fuck about shit. Like, I don't want nobody talking to me. I'm nerve-wracking. Like, go some fucking where. I don't even want to talk to somebody who don't even know shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that's like 98% of the world. People who be vibrating low. Like, you ever got you ever got so consciously aware to the point that the person you've been next to talking to, talking to for years, just... Just up tomorrow seem like the dumbest person in the world. You don't even want to talk. That's when you know your vibration frequencies have changed. You're on a different path. You're on a different road. And it's about time to start cutting off and adding on in other places. You see what I'm saying? So it'll play out like that. So a lot of times I need we just to be in any social event. I don't know how to take that shit if I'm not high. Like, I, I, I do. Believe me. But I won't be the person you will like. Trust me. I won't. Like. Like. Without no weed, I won't even be in no socials. I won't even, cause I'll be so up here and looking, looking down on everything and looking like, oh, I see this about to come. I see this about to come. We can't do this. You probably won't have no fun around me. Nothing like that. You see what I'm saying? And in that vibration, I probably wouldn't want to go nowhere anyway. I, cause I know me. I'd rather do something by myself. Enjoy something by myself. Go somewhere by myself. Uh, if I'm down and out, I'd rather be by myself. I'd rather go to a secluded spot by myself. You know what I'm saying? Now, if I get some weed, you know what I'm saying? Bro, I, I can socialize with you. Because uh, your dumbness won't be coming. And I'll be consciously aware of where your vibration at. And, and, I, and I won't be using, I, I won't be having things in me pushing me to make you enlightened about shit. I can, I can kind of just accept where you at. And you know what I'm saying? Laugh with you. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's, that's what gave me the idea that I know for a fact when I smoke, smoking brings me down. It, it Breaks me down on a because I'm Archangel Uriel already, so everything is reversed. What y'all think is up to me is down. What y'all think is left to me is right. What y'all think is right to me is left. What y'all think is forward to me is back. You know what I'm saying? That's why y'all living backwards. I ain't. You know what I'm saying? I understand this shit. So from my perspective, yeah, I mean I'm coming down, but I mean you can still look at it from where I'm at. I'm getting hot. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I, I just know in the third dimension, in the third dimension. I, weed brings me down to the third dimension because I'm already the Archangel Maria. So just for me to co to cope with a dumbass motherfucker or a group setting or anything, I gotta have some motherfucking weed. And that's just me. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's fucking different. You see what I'm saying? Now, when we talk about alcohol, I completely can't drink alcohol no more. I, man, from, from the age of 17 to now, I had two pints, two half pints of sea creams gin. Every day. I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't drink before I, I mean, I could not have a drink before I, and I come from a whole long line of family of al alkies. To the point that I destroyed my stomach. And by me being an Archangel Uriel, that was the kind of scripture I set myself up to come into to realize myself. So once I start drinking, start getting sick, and, and then I still be sick from time to time because of all the damage I have done. The, the realms of realities that I, I even appreciate when I be sick for two weeks and be stuck on the ground. I appreciate every fucking thing because it takes you to a realm of reality. And if you're consciously aware enough, you could be consciously aware enough to, to extract knowledge from every realm of reality. I don't care how dark it is or how high in hopes it is. You know what I'm saying? I'll be in my darkest moments. I'll be near death. I don't think y'all understand that. When y'all see me not responding and shit like that um, due to comments and messages and shit, it, that's not something I came up with, like, okay, I'm just not going to respond. No, I actually be going through shit, and through the shit I be going through, de develop my way of living. So, in so many ways, 
it's like it's almost natural for me not to look at messages and shit like that because once I'm done with a video, I'm already trained. Because when I be sick and can't do nothing, when I be discluded from the world, it's just me and me. And to me, that's like nothing is more important than that. So I didn't lost the the mechanism of, of even caring. But I I don't want y'all to hear something like that and think that I don't care about y'all. Like I love y'all. I'm about to get twelve thousand subscribers and shit. Like I love my soul group. And when I and when I get in the spirit to jump in and look at all the, the messages and all my emails and shit like that, when I, I I do it and I really love it and appreciate it. But what what I'm saying is I don't want nobody to think that if you don't get a response a certain day or if you don't that it's something that I'm actually I'm actually doing. No, it's actually sometimes I just throw my phone and don't get on the internet at all and sit there and, and either if I'm sick or 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 if I need spiritual cleansing or if I need vibrational cleansing, then that's what I do. It's it's not that I'm it's not that I look at your shit and just choose not to respond. No. It's that I don't see it until I get back on my phone. That might not be to three or four days later. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I may I may do a few videos just to get videos out there to let people know I'm not gone nowhere. But as soon as that video done, I'm off the internet on all sources. You know what I'm saying? Unless I'm getting on it, unless because a lot of times I'm editing shit. I'm getting into myself. I'm um you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to print out my whole language. Uh, my whole new language and shit, and, and, and just and doing shit that involves with real shit, not shit that that it easily take my my focus and, and make me pay attention to other shit. Like the video I, I, I the video I put up on um about the, the young pharaoh and, and Sue Seti. I was watching I was watching side net of TV entirely too much that week. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even have none of those thoughts and ideas if I wasn't watching side net side net of TV. But I, I started watching these niggas debates. I started watching where the, the outlooks of these niggas come from. So I started getting attacked by all these thoughts and ideas that wasn't mine to present. Now, not, that's not to say my thoughts and ideas that I was receiving was wrong. But it's just to say that vibration is what it is. Since I was vibrating on that level, you know what I'm saying? I, I just automatically tapped into that and unknowingly. You know what I'm saying? But it takes a spiritual and a conscious aware of being. To know that's what took place. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, you know, um, it just takes time by yourself and it takes time to actually observe, to know these things. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, when we talk about the uh getting back to drugs, yeah, I I, I completely obliterated myself from any type of form of alcohol and, and any source. I I never even I tried lean before, I mean not, not my cup of tea. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, it didn't even do nothing to me. And pills does nothing to me. And I think, and this goes deep, even from Tylenol, all that shit, that never helped the headache to me. So I never took pills because they never helped. But as far as when, um, we got some shit here in Youngstown, Ohio, where a lot of, a lot of chicks like to pop trims. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes like to pop trims. I don't know if y'all got that in y'all city. Uh, I tried that. Don't, don't do shit. Uh, Vikes, don't do shit. Uh, Percocets don't do shit. Now as far as I went, I ain't doing no Molly or none of that other shit. But for the most part, but for the most part, um, I had, I didn't get so far in my life to not give a fuck about the physical that no type of physical thing would ever take place. I had a fucking whole edible brownie to myself. Hated it. I was like, what the fuck? Why would I waste about this much money on this shit? You know what I'm saying? I, I start to feel like I was paying, I paid for the bag and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? That's nothing. So, you know, everybody's different. But we want to talk about some weed. Hey, I'm all there with you. <laughs> we, could, we could smoke all day. You know what I'm saying? But for the most part, we, you want to talk about way back in the days and shit like that. Um, as far as the agents and shit like that. This was the reason gurus and shit like that utilize drugs. Because it, a lot of times, this is this is what they tapped into to, to bring forth life. Same way how I was, how I was telling y'all, like, in my video, how, how I'm foreign, because, uh, like, alright, my, look, my dad haven't been on crack, so don't, 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 I don't want anybody trying to make no jokes. My dad hasn't been on crack cocaine for at least 10, 15 years. At least 10, 15, hold on. Let me see. I was about, 
14, 14 years. My dad ain't been on crack for 14 years. So, so, I don't want nobody making jokes. He been changed his motherfucking life. He's doing real well right now. Real well. But for the most part, at this time, as I was being conceived, you know what I'm saying? And things of that nature. He was heavy on it. The, the dope was heavy in this motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? And, um, and for the most part, um, you know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of beings who, who was having kids around that age, I mean, around, around that, that time span, you know what I'm saying? Late 80s, around, around that time span, um, and early, late 80s and early 90s, um, a lot of the kids who came here are foreign. Now, I can only explain how I'm foreign is because when my dad was taking the crack cocaine substance, right, his, what he was consciously aware of was in a very high realm. You see what I'm saying? So these ideas and thoughts that he was having or whatever he was seeing that was making him go crazy was some high spiritual shit. So when he, so I didn't, so if that became something that he always wanted to do, then the child that comes from that is actually a product of that. You see what I'm saying? Like this is what you have to understand. Say you a person who always thinking about money. This is the kind of child you want to have. See, people get it fucked up when they say, who was first, a man or a woman? Look, when you go higher in the dimensions, a lot of beings are both in one, and they don't even see it the way you see it. The only reason you see it as that's a female and that's a male because you are a you small, you are a you are a little compared to the whole life. If you was if you was a being on the large scale compared to the whole life, you wouldn't see it in this way. The only reason you see it as separate and women and and male, and then you need to come together. As where I was at when I looked down, that just looked like one. You know what I'm saying? So when everything is coming together as one, that's a good thing. But we're not looking at it as, okay, a female and a male need to come together. We're just looking at everything coming together as one. You are that little speck within that little, little realm as a little, little thing. You know what I'm saying? So as a little, little thing, your whole concept of coming together is your concept as a human. And people have to miss, you got this misconstrued too, as thinking mankind Look, there's a mankind out here, but nothing like you, nothing like you seeing it. What you seeing right here is this an evolved snake. This human, this human form is, is just an evolved snake. That's it. That's it. Your shoulder blades, next hundred thousand years you come back, they're gonna start to look like wings. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna start, you, 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 what you're trying to do is become a dragon. That's what you're doing here. And, and the longer you're not being consciously aware, and you keep manifesting yourself into this realm of reality without, without, without ascending. You just keep coming back here. Then you're going to develop like the thing that this, that this, that the being that you in, you're just going to develop more like it. And this being that we in ain't shit. You need to understand that. Stop, stop thinking this, this sun is everything. This sun is following other fucking suns. And, uh, and, and, and the sun is just a, it's just that little thing within the within the mind, within the brain. But you can't see it because you're small. You see what I'm saying? It's just that's that's it. That's what it is. That's what that's it is what it is. You see what I'm saying? So you you have to understand that when you up under a system or a solar system and things of that nature, and you and you think things is going against you. No, you are going against it. Now I'm not telling you to go along with society. What I'm telling you is be a society. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't let a, a economy system make you think this is society and that's how you're supposed to go by it. No. You create the society. You create the uh, economy. Understand that. People got this misconception like, okay, we in life and life has a society so we have to go by it. And then you just, you, you, you fail to realize you're just going by someone else's way of society. When really, you've been brought here to create a society also. Make a society, motherfucker. We, we doing this every day on the internet. The, the, the moment, the moment I, I have put up that video about the conscious community and, and, and put up the video about the, uh, the new age community, all I did was create a society. That's all I did. When I named all the people who's in the, um, when I was naming in, in my description, it, it's not about who you like and who you don't like. It's just about everyone who's pushing the new age movement. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's who I was named. And, and they all should deserve respect, whether they say a lot of things you may not like or don't like. I have a lot of disagreements with uh, Eligio, Nature Boy. I got a lot of disagreements with a, a lot of other people. But that don't, but when it's time, but when it's time to become a society, we are the society. So when I was making the comparisons between the New Age movement and the, um, the conscious community movement, that's all I was doing. We, but we all got our, we all got that right. And you, and you see how it works on a small scale, right? So we need to start doing that on a large scale. Then who, who the fuck can control us? We are the controlling mechanisms. You see what I'm saying? And this is why another, t this is another reason why alcohol is so, so potent and so strong because it creates vibrations. And when, when there's so much things going on in the world that, that taps you into your vibrational realm and when you drink, that and heightens it, then then what? You know what I'm saying? Things run stronger. You got a bunch of old racist people who watch Fox News all day with all kind of whiskey in their house. You see what I'm saying? That that would be equivalent to the dude in Las Vegas who went and shot up the whole concert. You see what I'm saying? Like you gotta you gotta understand that America is doing a, and and societies is doing a lot of shit to themselves. They're doing a lot of shit to themselves, and then we got a lot of drugs and a lot of shit here to help amplify that thing. Help amplify it. So if you're a person who, who ain't never got no money and you broke, the, mo the moment you go drink some alcohol, that's going to be in heightened. You know what I'm saying? Then you may just go out and do something that you wish you haven't done. So you think the people who who, who created this didn't know this shit? You think you think the elites and everybody is sitting back not knowing the shit I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You got you got to think about this shit. Just like when we talk about the smoke substance, it takes you into the spirit realm, and we t and we talk about the, the alcohol, it takes you into the vibration, the vibration realm. So have it ever have it ever came across to you that when you look at fire on Earth, fire rises, right? And when you look at water, water sinks, right? But if you was to put yourself in some water, you will float. If you was to put yourself in some fire, you will go down. You see what I'm saying? So. That's that's what you so I don't care any if anybody died in some water they're gonna start they're gonna float to the top. Anybody died in some fire they went down, they got burnt up. You know what I'm saying? The 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 water the water didn't sink you to the bottom itself. Same way that the fire didn't didn't make you fly by itself. So there's a there's an in outgoing of things right now when we talk about the spirit and the soul. You know what I'm saying? So the spirit would be like without. The soul would be like within. So they the same thing. But when you want to talk about going without, you talk about the spirit. When you want to talk about going within, you talking about the soul. You know what I'm saying? But they the same thing. So this is why smoking and alcohol will always have some prominence in, in dimensions, in realms of realities. Because you have so many people. These, is like, these are like gateway. When they say gateway drugs... They don't really mean gateway drugs to another drug. That's for only people who take that drug and put it into their physical reality. When they say gateway, these drugs open up gateways. You see what I'm saying? So if you don't want any gateways or any type of beings having access to your soul, then make sure you know how your frequency is vibrating when you drink. If you don't want no outside beings attacking your spirit, then make sure you know how your frequency is vibrating uh, how your frequencies is vibrating before you smoke. You know what I'm saying? And then that's how to do it responsibly. Because once you start thinking like that, you have no choice but to do these things responsibly. You see what I'm saying? Other than chaotic. People who need these things and tied to too much earthly things, it becomes chaotic. Now, um, and then when you want to talk about the physical substance of drugs, like pills and things of that nature, just know that it's, it's going to deteriorate like smoking is going to deteriorate your spirit if you just overdo it without knowing what you're doing. You're just doing it for the sake of pleasure. It's going to deteriorate your spirit to the point that you, you, you're going to end up not, not having no ideas, not no, no thoughts. To the point that you're not even going to be even really getting high when you smoke. Drinking is, is going to deteriorate your soul to the point that you're not even going to know what to feel. So if you're drinking so much and been into so much stupid shit, you may just drink and kill yourself. So chill out and, and physical. Uh, the, the pills and, and, and shit like that, uh, popping too much of that too is gonna make you, it's gonna numb your 
physical to the point that you not you might switch your wrist, pop too many pills and overdose and things of that nature because you're not getting high one or two of them no more and things of that nature and and shit make your hair fall out, shit make your make your skin look like it's breaking off and make you gain and lose weight and all this kind of shit, man. You gotta you gotta you gotta st you gotta know your frequency vibrations. Know your frequency vibrations, and I'm gonna do a video on how to know your frequency vibration also. But I, I gotta get out of here because uh, I'm late right now. Get my medusas done.